John, this is obviously a very fantastic day for the Islanders organization and the community. What does it mean to finally break ground on this arena and give the fans a permanent home? Boy, it's fantastic, right? I mean, you can hear in the background now, they're moving the dirt as we're talking. We're going to have to shout over it. So they're wasting no time. The ceremony is over, and they're going to work, which is great. So seeing that as a reality on this special day is pretty terrific. How much more support do you think you'll get from the community because fans don't have to travel from Barclays Center and the Coliseum? Well, I think our fans have been making that journey for a long time, and they're the greatest fans in sports. So it becomes more convenient for them. I'll look at it a different way. We've doubled our season ticket holder base for this year, moving some of our games to Nassau. We're going to double it again because now all the surrounding communities have the ability to come and enjoy hockey here in a couple of years. In the meantime, we'll still be playing some games at Barclays. As the commissioner announced, we'll be playing the majority of our games now at Nassau County Coliseum. So that's terrific for our fan base. Now, just how important was it to keep this team in Long Island when you talk about a permanent home? Yeah, super important, right? I mean... I, there was no economic viability for this National Hockey League franchise if we didn't have a new home. And we made that case, Scott Malkin, Dewey Shea, and I made that case to the commissioner, and we went and we made that case to the governor. And the great thing about the governor and the other political leaders, they showed political courage in supporting this project, which is being privately financed, which will have tremendous community benefits, but really is all about supporting this community. Not only will there be Islander games, but music is our second home team. There'll be dozens and dozens of great musical acts coming through that the fans and the, and the community members of this great area can come and see, to your point, a lot more conveniently than they did in the past. It'll just uplift the whole community as a whole. Well, I think, yes, I think it will. And I think the other thing is that it, wasn't, it was lost perhaps in the incredible day here, but the Islanders are working to improve the parks that are around here. The Islanders are building a very large community center. The Islanders are embedding themselves in Floral Park. Our headquarters are now in Floral Park. We've already moved them there. We want to be great citizens of this community, and we will be. Lastly, to the fans, what's your vision for this team when this arena is finally done? That we put a championship team on the ice that competes for the Stanley Cup every year. That should be our mission as stewards of this franchise. Give the fans a world-class arena and give them a world-class team. All right, John, thank, thank you so you, much. Appreciate okay. it.